Migrant smuggling at the border is not just a moneymaker for cartels, but also for some Americans. A Houston teacher now behind bars accused of smuggling four migrants into Texas. And police say the area where they made the arrest is notorious for catching smugglers. News Nation's Jorge Ventura is live for us. Jorge, how are Americans getting involved in all this? Nicole, it's a new dangerous trend of these Mexican cartels luring and recruiting hundreds of Americans from teachers to gang members through social media to come to South Texas and pick up migrants who cross the country illegally, then take them into the country into major cities like Houston and San Antonio. This is Brandon Garza, a middle school teacher in Houston, arrested for human smuggling after authorities say they discovered four immigrants in his car who reportedly entered the country illegally, according to the Kinney County Sheriff's Office. Garza was being paid to pick up four migrants and drive them to Houston. It's not just people like Garza who are recruited to smuggle migrants. Donald Ray Graves, a confirmed blood gang member, and Joe Jabri Harris are both suspects in a deadly drive-by shooting in Louisiana. Dash cam video shows them trying Trying to get away from troopers in Texas, Kinney County Sheriff Brad Coe was there. He could have easily killed somebody in my county. And that is what I've been facing every day with all this. Troopers say they discovered six migrants in the car from Guatemala, Honduras, and Ecuador in the vehicle, as well as two handguns. Cole explained during his on balance appearance yesterday most of these smugglers are recruited through social media. One of the things we're seeing is they're getting all this information, they're being recruited off social media, whether it be Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and they're promised big money for very little work. And Nicole Garza right now, that Houston teacher, he's out on bond right now. The two gang members from Louisiana who were caught smuggling also in Kinney County, well, they're actually now going to be facing federal human smuggling charges. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.